I plan on showing you here is how to uh, fix the issue of your teachers not receiving an email once a walkthrough is completed. First thing you're going to want to do, sign into Google and then navigate to the folder that where all of your uh, merged and walkthrough documents reside. So you can see I've navigated to the folder where all my merged docs goes, I have my merged document, I have the actual form, and then I have the spreadsheet where it hold, houses all the responses. To verify that you're actually having an issue, what you're going to want to do is to click on the response document and you're going to want to scroll to the far right and in the very last column that has a black header at the top, you'll see that the Google document was successfully created, but there's an exception that there's a server error and it had not sent any email. So once we verify that we actually have the issue, um, the ir irony is that the problem is not with this spreadsheet or with AutoCrat itself. It's actually, if we can close this window, it's actually with the merged document that is using, being used to create the PDF. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the merged document. And what it actually happens, just so you know the error, or the uh, way to fix this, is that somewhere along the line, um, we've created all these tables, and, and, and there were some extra tables that we didn't need and we deleted. Well, you can't visually see these tables, um, these deleted tables or these deleted cells in our document, but they're still there. And those remnants of those tables is causing an issue with uh, creating the PDF. So what we have to do is actually have to remove those tables and those cells that are hidden. I actually sent you with this video a text file. You're going to want to open up that text file and save it down to your computer. Once you've done that, it looks, open it up, it looks exactly like this. Now, don't be intimidated by all this random text and everything like that. There's only really one thing that you're going to have to do within this text to fix this issue. All right? So I'm going to put that away for a second and go back to our merge document. If I click on Tools, you'll see there's a script editor. We're going to add a script to remove all those hidden cells and tables. So I click on Script Editor. It's going to load a new window. It's going to say, okay, what kind of script do you want to create? We want to create a script for a document. And once we click on that, it's going to create, provide us with a script. And we're going to, we don't need all this text right here. So we're going to actually just hit Control A and delete it all. Now what you're going to do is go back to your text document, highlight all of this, copy it, and then paste it in right here. So we have created essentially our own script that's going to go in and remove any empty tables or hidden cells. The next step that we have to do is this script has to know what document we want it to remove all this hidden stuff on. So you notice right here it says on line two, it says document ID, and in the quote it says insert document ID. So we have to get that document ID. If you navigate back to your merge document, you'll see right across the top here, after a forward slash D, there's a bunch of random letters and numbers. That is our actual document ID. So if I just simply click on this and highlight it, I'll drag it over, and I don't want to go all the way to the end. See where it says forward slash edit? I want to go to that last digit just before the forward slash, and I'm going to copy that. So if I click right click, copy, and now I go back to my script, and I highlight, I replace it, what says in capital letters, insert document ID, and I replace that with my document ID. ID. I, now I'm done. All I have to do is actually save my script and then run it, and it will remove all those hidden tables and cells. So the next step is to save. So if I click on file, save, I can rename it anything like, I'm just gonna name it remove table. And hit okay. So now we have our script, we've saved our script, we've put a unique ID in our script. Now all we have to do is actually run it and it will remove all the hidden junk in this file right here. So all I simply do is click on run, hit fix issue, which is the very first line right here, fix issue 3495. Now it's going to say we need some authorization to do this. Go ahead and click continue and then hit accept.
And now it's actually run and it's gone in and it's cleaned up this document. The document looks no different to us, but we know that it's actually worked and we're going to test to make sure that it works. The way that you can test to make sure that it works is I'm going to close out all these tabs. You don't necessarily need to. I'm going to close out all those tabs. I'm going to go back to my response document. I'm going to scroll to the far right of my response document. And those errors are still there, but that's okay. What we're going to actually end up doing is we're going to clear this uh, these, where these four black cells are. I'm going to clear this text out. And now I'm just going to ask Autocrat to run again. If I'm going to click on Autocrat, and you will probably, if you want to do this part right here, you will have to be logged in as your principal. So if I hit Preview Run Merge, and I hit Run Merge now, it's going to take, uh, you know, 10, 15 seconds to run the merge, but you'll know that it's working because right here it's put some text in and it will continue to put text in. And now it says it was successfully done. If I scroll over to the far right, you notice that this one where it says this, there's an exception to server error has occurred, but this one right here says PDS was successfully created and attached an email to Matt Castow. So I now know that this script is working because I went in and cleaned up the hidden tables and cells in my merge document. So that's the easy way to fix this. I will also be creating some step-by-step -step directions for you.